<laughs> but there is another reason that we go and watch those movies. And that's all the fun gadgets that we see in the movies, all the fun stuff. And the person who is behind that is this guy who has, is in the lab. His name is Q. And I'm very happy to introduce you to you today. He's going to be with and help me out. He's the Axis Q, Kent Franson, one of the main product manager over at Axis in Sweden. And every time we send people over back to Sweden, the sales guys specifically, they're always excited about being there, but they're the most excited about the discussion we have with Kent. Because they feel like they are James Bond and he's Q, and he brings them into the lab and shows all those gadgets which they can use to, to beat the bad guys. The bad guys are the competitors, of course. So Kent is we're very happy to have him here to share with us what he has in his lab and uh, what is coming out and what is changing the market and what we have to fight uh, the bad guys out there. So Thank welcome you. Kent Franson here. Thanks. Okay, well, if we look at the technology, and especially done for the consumer side, as Frederick just said, we can look at the most important component in a camera, and that is the sensor, the CCD or the CMOS sensor. And what is driving the CMOS sensor and the CCD sensor development? Where is the money spent? That is on camcorders, as you two have here, and still cameras and mobile phones. There are three areas that is driving that market. And what is then driving their market? Well, today it's HDTV. If you buy a new camcorder, you probably buy an HDTV, especially if you have a flat screen at home. You definitely want to have the high definition quality. If you buy a new still camera, there's a huge chance that that still camera also can be used as a camcorder and record at full frame rate at HDTV 720p. And I would predict that before the end of this year, there will be uh, telephone manufacturers that have camcorders built in in HDTV 720p, the same as you have at home if you have HDTV. So you can use your telephone. So in that market, they are investing a lot of money because the market is so huge, so the percentage is not so much raised the us. And why shouldn't our customer benefit from that? Why shouldn't our customer also have HDTV on the CCTV side? Why should they stay with our technology? We like standards. And one standards, one standards that we find for HDTV is the SMPTE. SMPTE is an American organization. It's a standardization organ for the um, satellites, the transmission, the broadcasters, the TV sets, everything. So if you would like to be compatible with the broadcasting, you have to be compliant with the SMPT standard. Now the SMPT standards also involve satellite transmission, satellite receive, and we do not have that in our camera. So what we have done is that we are complying with the parts that we can comply with to the camera. And the products that we have that do that will have an HDTV logo. The thing that we can do is the color reproduction. There is something called gamut, and that is the color spectrum that the eye can see. It's quite big. What you can see with standard TV is quite small, actually. And HDTV is close to the eyes. So you can get much better color reproduction with HDTV if you comply with SPT standard than that one. Another interesting thing is the resolution. The HDTV resolution 720p or 1080, it's a standard that you will find in the TV sets and the monitors. So if you comply with that in the camera, you don't need to do any scaling. You can do native resolution. If you have adjusted the resolution on your, your, your computer screens, knows that native resolution always gives the best result, because you don't need scaling. So that's another benefit. Full frame rate. OK, you may, in a CCTV environment, only record five or seven frames per second. But of course, you would like to have a capability of seeing in full frame. Why shouldn't you? The technology is there. It's very easy to do full frame right today. So of course, we should have that. And the last one, the wide screen format, 16 by 9. If you have a flat screen at home, you have a 16 by 9. If you have a modern laptop, you have 16 by 9. And you can try to buy a computer monitor that is 4 by 3. They don't exist anymore because the whole market has moved to 16 by 9. 
Why shouldn't CCTV do that? Why should we stay with 4x3? It would just be difficult to find, and there is no development in that area. So this is why we believe strongly in the HD.